they weren't, you know, allowed on Twitter or they were banned or whatever before Elon Musk took it over. That was a segment I'm actually getting to now. It was after um, uh, we covered the UFO. So, mm. excuse me. Uh, let me bring this window up. All right. It's your turn. You want to go? We won't start the clock till you get there. So the dismantle the wooden uh, generosity. Um, let's uh, let's. I, I just want to start off um, right here at the top here. This isn't even my line of questioning, but I'd like to submit to the record a Washington Post article now warning about <laughs> laptop disinformation. The guy who leaked it. Here's the deal. Before I even get into my questions, I think that the, the story here with the New York uh, with the Washington Post reporting. Make is that what they're saying right here when the New York Post first reported in October 2020? Uh, what the volume or no, 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 the picture so we don't have to see the side stuff. No, no, uh, so, 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 okay, okay, it had obtained contents of a laptop computer allegedly owned by Joe Biden's son, a roadblock faced by other news outlets that hope to corroborate reporting, as many did. The newspaper wasn't sharing what it obtained. New York Post had this alleged information and was trying to publish it without any corroboration. New without- York Post, one of the yeah, most yeah, yeah. deceitful tabloid, quote unquote, you know, Piece of shit. Uh, journalistic sources ever. You know, yeah. th- th- there's a reason I only, you know, trust, uh, well, I pretty much only trust the AP to, you know, break headlines because, you yeah. know, it, 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 these right-wing sources, they just lie and lie and lie and lie and lie and lie. Without any backup information, they were trying to publish it to Twitter. Twitter did not let them, and now they were upset. I believe that political operatives who sought to inject explosive disinformation with the Washington Post couldn't get away with it. And now they're livid, and they want the ability to do it again. They want the ability to inject this again. Well, so like, they're constantly talking about, what's on Hunter, Hunter Biden's laptop? Yeah, yeah, we yeah. need to see his laptop. And, you know, the, the original guy who actually had the laptop allegedly belonging to yeah. You know, found absolutely nothing nefarious yeah, yeah. contained yeah. on it. Yeah. And, and they're constantly obsessing over him smoking crack and his yeah, nudes. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like, the f- on, man. Like, not, yeah, get the f- here with your, like, you know, oh, this picture politics. I, I don't, bro, like, can I get health care or some? Sh-? I'm yeah, not yeah. interested in that, man. You see, like, uh, AOC, she made a lot of sense. She said they were trying to do like a gotcha in you know, October surprise. Yeah. Uh, by, by, you know, even if there was nothing on the computer just to make it look like there was something mm-hmm. and push the election toward uh, Trump. But uh, the, 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 the mainstream media got the catch of it. They don't want to be involved or become part of that. They, they were going to run on the, on the election. So they, 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 they just blocked it. Now they have that hurt feeling. Oh, you know, it should have happened. Okay, what's in the computer? Can you tell us uh, uh, beside the of this Oh, you said, oh, you don't forget the big guy. What big guy? Okay, what's the big guy? Is there something against the law? Could you tell us that we could charge uh, Biden with? There's nothing there. Yeah. There's nothing there, but they, they yeah. have this, Yeah, it's just silly. They have these. She, she destroyed him. Uh, see, uh, even with the other stuff. She destroyed uh, him. Absolutely. Yeah. Dragged a social media platform here in Congress. They're weaponizing the use of this community <sighs> so that they can do it again. A whole hearing about a 24-hour hiccup in a right-wing political operation. That is why we are here right now. And it is, it, it's just a, an abuse of public resources, an abuse of public time. We could be talking about health care. We could be talking about bringing down the cost of prescription drugs. We could be talking about abortion rights, <laughs> oh, speaking rights, of the devil, voting you know? rights. But instead, we're talking about <laughs> half-fake laptop story. I mean, this is an embarrassment, but I'll go into it. Ms. Navaroli, let's talk about something real. I'd like to show you a tweet posted by former President Trump about my colleagues and I on July 14, 2019. Yeah. It says in part, Quote, why don't they go back and help fix the totally broken and crime infested places from which they came? Then come back and show us how it's done. These places need your help badly. You can't leave fast enough. I'm sure that Nancy Pelosi would be very happy. Don't you obstruct it? Don't you vote against, you know, health care reparations, you know, mm-hmm. subsidies for jobs, you know, extended child tax credit? Don't you vote against that, Mr. Yeah. Populist, even though, you know, you ended the individual mandate and, you know, cut taxes. Most of the benefits long term went to the rich, you know, as quickly to work out free travel arrangements. A day or two after that, uh, Donald Trump publicly uh, incited, you know, violence at a rally 
uh, targeting four congresswomen, including myself, saying, go back to where you came from. And this never really, as I understand it, you were uh, the most senior member of Twitter's content moderation team, or a senior member of Twitter's content moderation team when this was posted. Um, as part of your responsibilities, did you review this tweet? Yes, it was my team's responsibility to review these tweets. And what did you conclude? My team Ray, made the recommendation that for the first time we find Donald Trump in violation of Twitter's policies and use the public interest interstitial. For the first time? Yes. And at the time, Twitter's policy included a specific example when it came to banned abuse uh, against immigrants as in, they specifically included the phrase, go back to your country or go, or go back to where you came from, correct? Yes, that was specifically included in the content moderation guidance as and an you, example. You brought this up to the Vice President of Trust and Safety, Del Harvey, correct? I did, yes. And she overrode your assessment, didn't she? Yes, she did. Um, and something interesting happened after she overrode your assessment. A day or two later, Twitter seemed to have changed their policies, didn't they? Yes, that trope, go back to where you came from, was removed from the content moderation guidance as an example. So Twitter changed their own policy after the president violated it. Um, in order to potentially accommodate his tweet? Yes. <laughs> okay. oh. This just keeps getting better and better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Um, so much for themselves. bias against right wing on Twitter. Uh, additionally, Ms. Navaroli, are you familiar with the account Libs of TikTok? I have heard of it from- Listen to this. Um, yeah. Mr. Roth, are you familiar with this account? Yes, ma'am, I am. Are you aware from, that from August 11th to August 16th, that account posted false information about Boston Children's Hospital, claiming that they were providing hysterectomies to children? Yes, I am aware of that and other claims from the account. And are you aware that this lie was then circulated by other prominent far-right influencers? Yes. And are you aware that all these claims, uh, which I have reiterated, were false, culminated in a real-life harassment and ultimately a bomb threat to the Boston Children's Hospital? Yes, I am aware. And this account is still on that platform today, isn't it? Regrettably, yes, it is. Despite inspiring a bomb threat <laughs> due to the I mean, he's even like, he, he's even saying, like, the people at Twitter are saying, yeah, you don't count. Yeah, yeah higher right. Yeah, I don't really like her, too. Between you and me, Congresswoman, you know, I kind of wish she was off the platform, too. Yeah, Maybe yeah. I should, like, you know, make a rule since, hey, you're already amending rules retroactively yeah. you know when people violate them just to accommodate them so how about you make a rule actually you know even though she's already violated the rules multiple times how about you make a rule specifically libs of tiktok not allowed on the platform then you know recto retroactively ban her like how you're retroactively allowing things donald trump says you know just to accommodate you know people on the platform i mean come on yeah. against trans americans in this country because they cannot let go of this obsession with fixating violence and inciting violence against trans and LGBT people, in addition to immigrants, in addition to women of color. This is a party that cannot pick on anyone their own size. And they are trying to co-opt an entire social media platform and use the power of this committee and of Congress in order to pursue a political agenda. I yield back. Yeah, just tell it like it is. Back, yeah. 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 About no. Save the children, save the children, also bomb them, yeah. 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 according to higher right chick. Yeah, like, th these people, uh, protect children, save the children, you yeah. know, they're doing a grooming event, then, you know, that guy in Colorado, you know, shoots yeah. them up. Are you really saving yeah, the children by shooting uh, them? He's a gate, you know, they're killing our children. The cabal of Democrats, they're eating the children and, they, and they're selling them and trafficking them to Mexico and Guatemala. You know how they do. We know we see that. Talking country right now. Yeah, yeah the cowboy hat really sells 